G'day guys, Tim from Redback Lasers. So you might have an excavator and you're wondering how's a machine receiver going to increase my work efficiency and how do I operate it with my machine? So of course your, your, um, your receiver is always partnered up with a laser. Ideally you want to get a laser that's got grade capable. So our basic earth moving package and we do a number of earth moving packages and laser receivers for um, earth moving. That laser there, the EL614GM, is a grade capable laser. Now setting the laser up, you're going to have an X and a Y axis on the top of the laser. We're going to run our X axis there parallel to our pipe run. So we've got our pipe run there and the X axis is running parallel. Where we sit that laser in the field really is irrelevant as long as we have that sitting parallel. The other thing I'm making sure is I know I'm going to put my receiver in that vicinity on my excavator so I want to set my laser up roughly at that height so we can calibrate the receiver in. So I've already mucked around and set my laser up so if I power the laser on it's going to it's going to rotate or level up and rotate. The other thing that we're going to want to do first of all is set our grade. So if we're wanting to run a one in a hundred for storm water here we'd go and stew our grade and set up our one in a hundred grade on that laser so that when we're digging we're digging to grade all the time. Alrighty, that laser should be rotating by now. If we pick up, I'll just grab the receiver. So as you can see the receiver there, if we power it, oh, it was already powered on, power it on. When it picks up the laser beam, it shows me where that laser is. So when we're green lining, the laser beam's hitting the center of the receiver. To operate the receiver on this situation, I want those lights facing me in the cabin. So I'm actually going to run that receiver that way on the dipper arm. Now I'd always put the receiver on the dipper arm. Whether you put your bucket with teeth down or bucket curled really depends on where you're going to want your, um, your receiver. I've got a tiny little excavator there. I'm not digging very deep. I've put the teeth down. My, my dipper arm's vertical. Now what I'm going to do is looking at my receiver when it green lines and it's green lining there, I'm going to come in close to my dipper arm and snap it on. Okay, still green lining so we know we've still got the receiver in the right location. We've already pre-set up our laser with our grade. We have dug already to our datum reference point where we want to dig from. So really all we need to do now is jump on the machine and start digging and keep looking to green line that and come and measuring back with those teeth. So let's go and do a bit of digging. Alright, so you get the idea. I haven't had to jump off the machine and constantly put my staff down and get level on my receiver and figure out where I'm going. I could go off and dig that whole trench without getting off the machine at all. So what about if we're using that, the, um, that receiver on a skid steer? So we'll grab that off here and we'll go over to the little machine here. So now maybe we want to be using that equipment on a skid steer. I've got my little machine set up here. Now a lot of people think I'm going to go and stick that on the bucket. The problem with sticking a receiver straight on your bucket, it really is in danger zone. So if we get out there and start doing some earth moving, we're at a big risk of losing our receiver. We could put a pole up off the top of our bucket, but generally how I go and use this sort of system is again, I operate off the side of the machine. So again, looking at where the green zone is. So there's the green zone there. Pick up green zone on the receiver and snap it on. I'm a little bit high. There we go. So I've got that on green zone there. So the fact is if I'm roughing out with my machine, the height from the bottom of my tracks to that receiver is where I'm wanting to get to. So I can get and rough out with my, with my bucket, get it roughly level, drive up over the surface and check that I'm, I'm at the right height and keep roughing in. The other thing what we've done here is um, stuck a couple of poles up off that leveling bar if we're in the leveling or the final finishing stage. Again now, and I'll put that facing you there, we can get that into the green zone. Yep, oh, it's still off. 
Ah! And that. All right, so I've got that in the green zone. I've also now got a blood blister. Um, I can put, put the receiver straight onto that pole. Now, the other question people ask is, do I get magnets or do I get clamps? The reality sits that if you've got an excavator, magnets always work easier, okay? They're gonna magnetize straight onto your dipper arm. When you're going on an implement that's behind you, generally we're gonna put it on a pole mount and then we'll go to clamps. Things that I'm wary of is when we've got a lot of shutter in the implement, quite often we could be a little bit more safer with the clamps. We've set this up with a pole on that leveling bar for a clamp receiver and the magnets here. Choosing your receivers, you've got the MR706, which is the magnetic receiver, and the MR708, which is the clamp receiver. The MR706D, which comes with the remote in-cab display. So you can see I've got the in-cab display sitting there on my machine. There is a cable that has to run between those. Now, if I'm on a larger skid steer and I'm putting that behind me, you're gonna wanna run a cable to your in-cab so you can see because you're not gonna see your receiver. I'm lucky enough on this little machine that I'll see that receiver straight on the side of that there. Alrighty. And then the same goes with the MR708. The MR708 is that uh, receiver with the clamp mount. And then again, we can get the MR708D, which has got the in-cab repeater. As far as earth moving packages are concerned, what we've got there with the MR708 and the EL614 GM is our basic earth moving package. And we'll go through more of all the earth moving packages we've got available. Hi, I'm Tim from Redback Lasers. So you want an, an excavator or a skid steer and you're looking for an earth moving package to run with your gear? Well, let's talk earth moving packages from Redback Lasers. What we've got set up there is our basic earth moving package, which is the EL614 GM, the laser, which is a grade laser, horizontal levelling, um, operating in the X and Y axis, paired up with an MR706 basic magnetic mount receiver, as we can see there. Going to operate for um, all, going to operate fine for anyone with an excavator or a little skid steer, absolutely fantastic package. We move up from there and we go to the EGL624 GM, the EGL624 is really the same as the EL614, but now we can operate it vertical. So if you're wanting a few more features out of your laser and you want vertical alignment, it might be for fence alignment or any other application, that's a really good step up into the EGL624 GM. We partner that, you can get a couple of packages either with basically the MR706 or 708, the same receiver as I've got in that package there, but generally we do that with the MR706D, which is that magnetic receiver with the in-cab display as you can see sitting on the little machine. All right, we generally might have a bit bigger equipment and we might have more use for that in-cab display. The best of the packages there is that DGL 1010 GM earth moving kit. We can do that with the same receivers that were done in those earlier packages. We tend to find people are after a bit more premium gear, really are more interested in the MR825 WD, which um, is there, comes with both magnets and clamps and has an in-cab repeater that is wireless communication. So that in-cab repeater there is wireless communication back to your receiver. The receiver we've got set up there on the skid steer as that top receiver. The big advantage of this receiver is now it will tell us whether the receiver is vertical or on a tilt side to side. So if we stick it on a 20 ton excavator, we're gonna see if our dipper arm is vertical when we're doing our measure off. If we put it on a dozer blade, we can make sure our blade is level as we're operating. So we have that pan and tilt function as a standard with that. And as I said, that MR825WD has that re wireless remote in-cab display. So generally we partner that up, as you can see there with the DGL1010GM, now, some people ask, well, what's the scope for and what's the rotation plate? So just I thought I'd quickly show you. We've got the scope alignment scope on the top of the laser there. We've also got that RB360 rotation plate sitting there. The idea of that is if we're coming in and we're doing grade work day after day and we need to set the exact same grade every day, we want to ideally leave our tripod in situ or put a peg in the ground where we're setting that laser up. The other thing then is, is we want to make sure that laser is aiming exactly where we had it aimed yesterday. So we sit our laser on, we put it on the rotation plate, we can freelance that rotation plate, lock it off, fine tune it, and then looking through that scope, and you look through the big thing, looking through that scope, 
we could serve, we could dump sight of a survey mark in the distance and now that laser is sitting exactly as it was yesterday. So when we dial off a grade, it's on the same grade. So really if you're after a decent bit of kit, that DGL 1010GM and the MR825 is really a premium earth moving kit. Anyway, you want to talk earth moving packages and machine receivers and what suits your application, give us a call at Redback Lasers and we're more than happy to help you out. Don't forget to like our channel and subscribe.